Welcome to Take On Television. I'm Andy Beanstock with Dave Zerowick of the Baltimore Sun. Dave, you got to stay up late on Tuesday night watching the first Democratic debate. What'd you think? Well, I thought, look, I thought CNN did a pretty good job uh, of it. I, I really admired Anderson Cooper's tenacity in asking follow-up questions, being focused, being energetic. You think he did better than Jake Tapper did oh, with the Republicans? I, yes, I absolutely think he did. Jake Tapper was, uh, you know, even Ben Carson, for example, would consistently say to Tapper, well, that's not what I said. And Tapper would let him get away with it. As soon as somebody tried that on Anderson Cooper, he said, no, here's the, ta- you know, here's the transcript I'm reading from. He jumped in on him. Very good. Despite that, despite his tenacity and his focus, Hillary Clinton still steamrollered him at the end when he would keep saying, oh, Madam Secretary, man, she just keep talking until she made all her points. But it was Hillary Clinton's night and she was pretty fabulous. Here's the thing about this, Andy, that I think is most impressive. The uh, ratings for the debate, 15.3 million viewers on average, that's the average audience, largest Democratic debate in TV history. And it's the largest by a lot. In 2008, the largest network debate did 10.7 million. The largest cable debate previously was 8.3 million. So that's like 5 million more than the previous high for a Democratic debate. And in this year, it had no Donald Trump. Uh, Then that's it. You know, now compared to the first Republican debate on Fox, which did 25 million, the second Republican debate on CNN did 23 million. This is only about 65, 70 percent of those numbers. But still, Andy, that's exactly the point. They did 15 million for a debate in October this far out of the election with no Donald Trump. And this is what I think this clearly demonstrates. This is not all about Donald Trump. The tune in to politics this year is not about Donald Trump. Something deeper is going on. I mean, personally, I think. You know, we're brought up with this belief that the American system is the greatest, and that's good. But part of it is we think, oh, the system's so great it can take care of itself. I don't need to vote. I don't need to get involved. I think the election of Barack Obama, when he said elections have consequences, we found out that's true. And with the economy being in the shape it's in, people feel like they have to get involved. I really think we're at a revolutionary time in this country in a whole bunch of different ways. And that's what these numbers are a reflection of. I don't think they're going to drop, Andy. I actually think these numbers are going to continue to build. And it's fascinating that it's television, not new media, although CNN did set a record for live streams as well last night. That's Dave Zerowick of the Baltimore Sun. I'm Andy Beanstock for Take on Television on WIPR.